And if you want to continue to build, you have to tap off into your warriors. And these are the fallen warriors in that war that we got going on in our urban community. And that war that we got going on is something, it's a ramification, it's the cause and effect of the Cointel Pro organization or program that was laid down on our people in the 70s and in the 60s. So people got to always understand that my expectations is I know you're going to turn your back on me, but I'm going to love you anyway, and I'm going to hold on to my fidelity to Islamism to the best of my ability, and I'm going to push. But while I'm in here, I'm going to lend all my resources to my brother Bruce J. Yield because at this particular moment, I can't use all my resources to the best of my ability because I'm in here. But I got a brother that's out there that's striving to do the same things that I want to do. I want to shoot movies. I want to do re reality shows. I want to do all the things that the brother has his inspirations to do. And I'm just going to tell you straight up like this. I know the brother can pull it off. Okay, now, 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 hold on. Now, you didn't flow for a little while now, man. And, and I let you flow. Yes, but sir. you still you kind of kind of skated over, man. You you said some of the things, and, and you talking now, kind of dreamily, man. You got like a dreamy state going on, like, you know, this is what I'm going to do, and and, you, and I know you're going to be happy in the mud to get out, man. Right, right. But right. as you said at the beginning of this thing, it's going to be a culture shock, bro. Right, right. It's some things going to be just totally different, man. And and right. some of them folks that was pretty cool with you talking to, and I'm not saying me or your your fiance or whatever, but some of the folks that you thought was gonna watch your back when you get out might be the very one to give you those fifty knives. That's my point. That's yeah. my point. That's my point exactly. I know they're gonna be watching. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be there. They're gonna do the most talking good about I'm gonna support you and I got your back. But when when certain things don't go, you have one minute remaining. When, when certain things don't go the way that I would like for it to go, I know that they're going to utilize that to become the devil, to whisper in my ear and say, come on, man, let's get this. They're going to talk that talk, but when I put my first book signing together, ain't none of them going to be around. Oh. Then they're going to bump and they're going to come knock on my door or call my phone, talking about, look, man, we just got a hundred bricks, man. You need to come on and get on down. I okay. know it's coming. Okay. You know? All and right, bro. Me, Yep. Well, your time they is up. Stop faking and shaking, man. But I need y'all to support the brother, man. Wrap y'all arms around that brother. The whole family of TV33. All Hold right, my show, brother. RJ Watkins. Wrap y'all arms around Bruce J. Hill. Show him his support. He got a lot of projects that's forthcoming. All the brother need is an outlet for promotion and marketing. And we can, we can, we can make a lot of money. The brother not selfish. I put my life on it. All right, my brother. Eat, man. Peace, y'all. Peace. All right. And that was our brother from the penal colony, Sutton Bay. Now, Bruce, now we kind of neglected you, it may seem like, but but not really. Are you there, bro? Yeah, I'm right here. Hold on. Okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. Now, because I wanted him, because, see, I didn't really want you to say nothing during that, that set on purpose. Because some of the things that he's saying right now may very well have been a lot of what you were saying before you got out here. Now, how different is it for you being on the outside as opposed to as it was when you were on the inside? And did you sound just like Sutton? Well, I got a different spin on it. Okay. My spin on the situation is... Talk right I, to that mic. I haven't met the people that people say be waiting on you to uh, give you that bag or, or tell you to go the wrong way. I have yet to meet them people, and when you're incarcerated... You know, that's what everybody say, man. You know your old homies, this, that, and the third. Well, during the amount of time that you do, you realize them are not your homies. So it's not like they be waiting. They, If anything, they be ducking. So if you be out doing the right thing, you might run into them in the mall and say, uh, you know, how you doing? Man, I was just thinking about you. I got a money order and everything. You know what I mean? So it's not like a lot of people trying to give you anything. They like to give you a whole lot of excuses to why they didn't do something they didn't owe you from the first place. Mm -hmm. So what happens when a lot of brothers with citizenism, what you see them when they get that time, man, they sit around and do the exact same thing they was doing before they went in. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay. If you come out with a plan, it'll work. You just got to put the work in. Okay. And most brothers, you know, your expectations be high because mine are high. I'm not going to lower them, but I have to use some 
rational thinking, meaning time and process. See, because when we're incarcerated, we on time functioning. Nothing's late, everything's on time. So that's the only thing that I suggest when brothers come home, realize you got more time to work with in that 24 hours that we normally don't have as our freedom, so to speak. Okay, okay. So you're saying nobody's trying to say, well, bruh, you know, you're doing this book thing, man. Now, you know, it'd be easy if you just, you know, come on, man. Then you have some connects, man. I tell you what, give me your old connects, bruh. And, and maybe, you know, I throw you something when I get on, man. Ain't nobody doing, I mean, I'm not telling you to rat nobody out, but I'm just saying, hadn't some of that kind of stuff ever happened? No, nah, man. You know, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. Okay. What, what? Certain circles don't get that. And, and my circle has always been small, tight, and straight to the point. So it's it's like a, a, a more of a, a propaganda when people use that terminology. Like people just waiting to, to offer you something. I had to publish my own book, sell this book by hand and foot, and help through you all. So... All the lavish things I did in the past, you know, if you know I'm a breadwinner, mm-hmm. why aren't you behind me? Right. Because in the city of Detroit, ain't no love, man. Ain't no love in the city. That's the only problem we got with Detroit. We loving everything but Detroit. So my books and me bringing the love back. Okay. That's what I want to do. The okay. love that we need in Detroit. Okay. Okay. Now, now, what about your trust level, man? And, and, and I know it's got to be hard because, as you said, the cats who said that they was going to do this, that, and other, man, I was just thinking about you, and, and uh, I was going to write you a money order. Does, does that affect your trust level with those who've been around out here or anything like that? Well, basically, no, nah, man, because birds of a feather flock together. Okay. You know, if it looked like a duck, it's quacking like a duck, <laughs> and somebody tell you it's a duck, and you still want to think it's a chicken. Well, you know, you pretty much in your league. So that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. I laugh at it, man, because my thing is, if you didn't do it then, you can change. But I'd rather deal with a person that didn't do me wrong from the first time. Mm-hmm. And we do business right from this time on. However, I still forgive. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's business. And that's what we need, the love and the business aspect. Okay, okay. And it'll grow. All right, all right. Well, hey man, you putting it down right, and and I and I'm gonna give you your props because you've been doing book signings since last you were on the program. And matter of fact, you got a book signing coming up, don't you? Yeah, Naughties. Okay, Naughties Knowledge Cafe right yes. there on Woodward and Glendale. Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. when? <laughs> this is unbelievable. March. Man. Third. It's the it? Mar- It's March third, but okay. I also got one the twenty fourth. Of March also, and that'd okay. be a strictly sportswear, okay. and that's dealing with Ice Cube coming to do some community service. I guess he heard me all the way on the West Coast. Yeah. The big homie needs some help, man. <laughs> so I'm not- serious. I need that help. Yeah, so he may have been watching the Hodo Show any other viewpoint, man. Without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> now, March third at nine. It's what time? It's from five to seven. Five to seven, and the third is on what day of the week? Do you know? March third. Let me let me look at my. Well, why you think about if I can find my calendar? <laughs> well, everything's on point. We going straight off the head on the Hodo show. That's another thing that's good about the show. You know, it reminds me of a show that I have in mind to bring. What's wrong with Detroit? And just randomly ask people in the community. It's my man, city. Man, don't give them too much stuff for that, man. They be trying to steal your stuff, man. Oh, uh, man, they can't steal it when it's real because the love is there. You know, everybody can't go to everybody's front door. I can go to anybody's door and knock on them and give them a favorable reply, and they'll be glad to see me coming. Okay, okay. Now let me look at this calendar and see exactly when March 3rd is. Because <laughs> um, we want to make sure the people know exactly when that is so they can come see you. And uh, get some of those books. The uh, March third is a Saturday, matter yeah. of fact. That's Saturday, March third, and um, you'll be over at Nineties Knowledge Cafe. Nineties, a friend of mine. She and I actually grew up together. That's a good thing. Yeah. So, Nineties Knowledge Cafe, March third, over on Glendale and Woodward. This brother here, Bruce Spearman L, will be there with his book, entitled "What Is That Again?" 
The women of a breadwinner. The women of a breadwinner. And, um, man, thus far, how has the response been? Well, I'll tell you this, man. I done sold over 400 books oh, right marvelous, here in the city man. of Detroit. That's marvelous. And, and, I'm, and I'm getting the response as a, a author would get. You know, people are taking the, st- 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 stories and making them into real people. And I express, <laughs> you know, that's just how I write. I love Detroit, so I'm going to write about if you're from Detroit and you read these books, it's going to really make you feel like you know what's going on. Okay. Let's but see if we can take a couple phone calls. If they call, you can call in right now at 313-868-4336, 313-868-0351-313-868-0342. Or you can leave me some questions on Facebook if by chance you're one of those who are on there watching TV33 right now via Facebook on TV, the new TV33 on Facebook. You like that. Then when you get there, Click welcome, and you can watch yours truly on Facebook Live around the world. Those of you who are watching, let us know you're watching. You can either call in or just send me a message on my Facebook page, which is Hodo Show, OVP. That's Hodo is a word, show, S-H-O-W, and OVP, like other viewpoint. You can send us a message. Oh, we got a caller calling in. Let's see who this is. <laughs> caller, you're in the air. Go ahead. Hey, Hodo. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> who is that handsome man you got on that show? Introduce yourself to Mother Rose. Uh, how you doing, Mother Rose? My name is Bruce Jael. Hi. I, I just tuned in, so I didn't know who is, who he is. Who is he? Is he a rapper? No, I'm an author. I'm a Detroit author, native Detroiter. Uh, you write poems or books? I write poems, Hold that books. book up so she can see it. Hmm? Here's the book that's presently out now. No, it's bad because I'm losing my eyesight and I can't read fine print. Oh, Mother Rose. Well, that yeah. means we're going to have to get you some audio books done. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. I can see Hodo. <laughs> oh, it's because that beam is bouncing off my body begonia. <laughs> now, what's going on with you, Mother Rose? Don't ask me, just... Pray okay. for me. <laughs> okay, well, I won't ask. You say don't ask, I ain't going to ask. Then. Pray, you know, pray. You know better than I do. Yes, oh. pray for Mother Rose. <laughs> All right. Because you know I'm going to keep watching you. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate you, Mother Rose. Who else coming out? Uh, we also got Brothers uh, Super MC, and we're going to play that video that you saw the other week. The right. one Come Home mm-hmm. with him and Kiko. You're going to see a music video. We're going to we're going. For the second time, debut his video. <laughs> what was the name of the guy? Super MC. I don't remember. You'll remember when you see him. Okay. All I'll right. be checked. Thank you, Mother Rose. I love you all. Love you too. Bye bye. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Call you in the air. Kick it quick. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, brother, what's the message of his book? Well, the message of this book is to be independent and become an entrepreneur as well as giving a person a flip side of what people don't talk about. All right. That was all he wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> yeah, hey, man, that's, you know, that's a good thing when you can answer a person's question straight to the point and they don't have no more questions. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hold on. Yes, sir. You know, I just want to ask you something, man. You know, this is my second time on this show. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people say, man, you go on a corny show. I said, well, you know, if you got something better, show me. Is it a corny nope. show? Yeah, you know, it's like, man, don't nobody watch that. But all the callers and people who who saying this, they were watching it. So, my so thing you- is, <laughs> if, 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 it's, if it's owned by us, why ain't we supporting it? It's so, affordable. So if, of all all the- you have to do is come down here and support it. You can make it better. But, but check this, man. Of all of the cats somebody going to call corny, yours truly, I'm corny now. Huh? Come say that to my face. As <laughs> a <laughs> matter of fact, put your show on TV 33 so I can see how much flow you got. See how much swab, sophistication, style, and swagger you can portray. Or will you just stagger and fall out the way? Shut up. 